Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some Car Mechanic 2018. I want to be. I want to give a big shout out, a big thank you to the guys that have been supporting this in episode one. Episode one uh, was a little bit surprising. Uh, some some people seem to think I quit GTA just because I uploaded something else, which was just just why. <laughs> I never said I was stopping GTA. Like why? What? WTF GTA is still gonna be plenty of videos guys, but um, one thing uh, I would would like to ask you guys is just don't hate because it wasn't GTA I mean just give it a skip right I mean I don't appreciate the people that were just hating on it because it wasn't GTA um, But I want to give a big big thank you to the people that were uh, supporting the um, new so to speak series and and were optimistic and said you know make some more I'm interested let's see how it goes uh, and I want to say uh, a, a thank you to those guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys and you're the real MVPs. Maybe to the people that weren't interested in this, I can win you over later on because there's loads of cool stuff you can do. For example, you can take the cars off to drive. You can do loads of junkyard stuff. It's pretty goddamn neat and I want to give it a little bit of a chance. But like I said, we'll do a couple of episodes, maybe maybe 10 to 20, something like that, you know. And we'll see uh, what we end up, you know, if there's an audience for it. We'll keep going. If not, we'll go back to two videos, you know, of GTA stuff. But um, so far, so good. I've been enjoying it. And we have a pretty goddamn awesome car to work on. I was actually, if you're wondering, I haven't skipped anything. I was, I, I did a couple of simple jobs um, in, in, in before the previous episode or a better, be, after the previous episode is a better one just to get a little bit more money and a little bit more XP so we can kind of progress in the story. But, uh, you know, I couldn't pass this up. It's a goddamn, look at this thing, by the way. We... Why would this thing come to my garage? Because we're the best at Redline, that's why. So this thing is crazy. This is the Pagani Zonda Cinquai Italia Stripes. Uh, hopefully I said that remotely right. It doesn't have anything with the measures. That's kind of annoying. Um, so it wants a couple of things to do. It wants um, change the oil and drain it all and refill with new. Easy. And it wants me to replace the air filters, uh, both of those. So that's uh, pretty easy as well. Nothing too crazy there. So um, we're going to move this car and uh, we're just going to begin. So this should be kind of interesting, right? Because the engine's at the back, right? So do we... How do we get to the... Oh, so that comes... Oh, so... Whoa. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a effing minute. I'm a little bit confused here. So that's the... Whoa. Okay, this is... Okay, this is new to me. So I guess air intake is there, and you want to take the other air intake is here. Well, that's kind of easy. Both of the air intake. Can I take that? Can I take? There you go. Take that off and take that off too. So there's the bad air intake. So that was pretty easy. That's kind of cool. Damn. We can actually put this front bumper back on because we're not gonna. How? By the way, how the hell do you get rust on this? Can? Well, can somebody explain to me? These are like. These are like millions and millions of pounds worth of cars, you know? Like, how do how do you get rust on it? I, I, I don't know. But we need to raise this all the way up if we can. Thank you very much. Then we move this under the... Can I... What, uh, what the hell? Hmm, I think I might hit a bit of a problem here. Don't know if I'm going to be able to drain it. Because this is a mod car. And the engine's at the back. I've been trying to move the equipment and put it under first car lift. It's not letting me. It's not letting me put it up there. I'm pressing it like mad and it's just not letting me do it. So I don't know if I can. If I'll be able to finish the task now. Is there a way? Can I do it like manually or something? I don't think I can. So that's a little bit of a shame. That is a little bit of a shame. Uh, I'll gotta be honest with that. It doesn't. Where? Where do you, I even? God, this car is way too confusing for me. I am. I'm actually a little bit god. God, like what the hell? Well, I can at least fix the air filters. So that's a little bit of a bummer that I'm not gonna be able to do those. So um, uh, we we'll just type in air. Actually, what ones were they? Were they the red ones? Uh, yes, two red ones. Oh, also I have. The Pagan is on a Ching Equale. Left headlights. Is that at the front? Do I need to add those? Oh, I took out the headlights. Jesus. I need to add these. There you go. I don't want to steal these. I nearly stole these. Because <laughs> I was going to... Right, anyway. Um, we can actually fix a little bit here. 
The only thing I can do is I can change the filters. So that's uh, a little bit disappointing, ain't gonna lie. Um, let's see. Let's, let's add these filters here so we can... Why can't I... I am at the engine bay. What the hell? It sometimes it glitches out. It's a little bit frustrating. Well, sadly, I can't drain the oil. Um, so... I'm not going to be able to do that. I fixed the air stuff, but changed the oil and drain and refill with the new one. I'm not going to be able to do that because it's not letting me drain it. So I'm just going to have to finish the order and kind of... Be I'm, so I'm sorry. I wasn't able to get the full money for it, so that sucked. There's actually things we can do. We're not actually stuck in this, by the way. We can go to these cool areas over here. As you can see, we can check, like, car parks. We can go to giant yards, off-road tracks, racetrack, car auctions. We can go to a bunch of stuff when we get the cars. And also, we had a crate where it took us to a barn. So I'm kind of interested what this barn find is. So we need to pay 100 Let's go have a look. Well, I'm in someone's random barn. That's for sure. It looks like there's a bunch of cars here. There's... Uh... That's a, is that a Mustang? What is this? Can I? Oh, it doesn't really say what it is. Uh, they want 14000 for that. Okay, I can't buy that. That's a little too expensive for me. But maybe I can get something here. Uh, what is this? How much do they want for this? 15000 These are a little bit too much for me. And this... No, don't leave. Uh, how much is this thing here? This is out of my... What? How is this out of my price range? Really? Looks like I can take a couple of these junk stuff here. I'll take these junk stuff. Can I, like, explore all the junk? Yeah, dude, I'll take this. God damn. Well, at least I'm finding a lot of junk here. Some of this stuff isn't very good, but some of this is, like, Mazda... Mazda parts. Uh, we got a few car parts. We got a Ford F50. F150. We have, um... McLaren 720 left... Wow, we're getting... A Camaro ZL1. Wow, that is cool. So we're getting a few stuff here, I guess. So it's not a completely wasted trip. Is there any more? Well, this barn thing is kind of interesting because you actually got to, like, pay for the car. You got to buy it. So this is 9000 I don't have enough money. So that kind of sucks. I'm sorry. I guess I just wasted people's times. But I did find a bunch of parts. So I guess let's go sell those. Oh, you got to buy the parts as well. You don't just get them. Oh, I don't really need... Oh, okay, well, okay. So that was a little bit of a... <laughs> that's a little bit of a fail. Well, I guess let's work on this thing. Um, I just randomly picked one of these jobs. I believe they want me to do something with the brakes here. Is it the front ones? Which ones are they? I can't quite see. Uh, is it these ones? Oh, yeah, it does look like this one. This one's pretty rough here. So let's get it out. Looks like the the disc, right? We just need to change the disc. Why do all the cars look so rusty? It kind of annoys me that they're so grossly rusty. Even the parts that you don't need to fix. Is that all this car needed, by the way? I need a brake shoe fix as well. Okay, well, let's get the disc. Let's have a look here. We go to brakes, ventilated disc, give it a go. Brake disc ventilated. Should I just get a brake drum as well? Because I'll probably need one, right? Um, so let's get that because we'll probably need one. Nice. So let's just uh, fix one problem at a time here. So let's add the new part on here and then we'll go deal with the uh, brake drum. So which side is the one with the problem? Does it show me at all? I guess it's not really going to tell me. So I just need to, okay. I guess I just need to take off the wheels. Uh, it could be this one. Let's uh, let's examine here. Is it this one? It's forty nine. Uh, let's have a look at the other one. I'm either not very good with the examine tool, or the examine tool doesn't sometimes get you the stuff you want to. Oh, okay, this one looks a little bit better condition. So yeah, this one's sixty. So I'm gonna guess the one that is uh, this one. Let's replace this one then. I just realized I actually bought something wrong. I needed brake shoe change, not brake drum. Uh, it was the brake shoes. These ones were the ones really rusty. So I kind of messed up there a little bit. Um, but maybe if we, maybe if we just replace them, the whole system, we get more money. I'm not sure how that works. So you can see this brake shoe is really poor. Um, and we did buy a brake drum, which is brand new. So we can maybe we should just get another brake drum. And two brake shoes, and 
maybe we'll get more money for that. I don't really know. But if we go brakes and we get two brake shoes, so let's try this, see if this will actually work. And we get another brake drum, okay? I don't know if it will increase, like, the amount of money we made, or will it technically make it uh, make it that we have less profit because we spent more on parts. Or maybe we'll get more profit because we added, you know, more new parts, so that means somehow it calculates it better that we get more money. I guess we're about to find out. Let's get the new shoes on though. Look at that, that looks great. Get the brake drum, the brand new one. There you go. And then we just gotta put the tires on. Here we go, moment of truth, let's see. So if we go into the car list, we made... Yeah, I think we get less. Total money spent, so we probably would spend less money and then... Um, and it did say repair with minimum parts condition. Yeah, I guess it depends on what the minimum part condition is that we needed to have. Well, listen Lynn, um, that's fine. Uh, we made... 201 plus, I guess. I had to grab this, boys. Look at... Oh, why is it destroyed? This beautiful Honda NSX. Yo. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let's get to work. So the first thing this thing needs is oil filter uh, and change oil drain and oil. So we need to do that. So that's pretty easy. So raise it up. Uh, let's use this once we can. Let's do move the equipment under the car. Okay, and then we uh, drain it. So the car has a little pee-pee, and we can already go get an oil filter because it needs one. Crap, there's different oil filters. Okay, we should have a look what the old one looks like. <laughs> I don't want to get in and it's like, uh, that's the wrong oil filter. Can I put this back, please? Hello? There we go. So here we go, the old oil filter. Let's have a look. Which one was it? Oil filter? Is it 16? Yeah, oil filter 16. So yeah, I would have totally bought the wrong one. So that, that would have been bad. That would have been very bad. Here we go. Get it. Very nice. And let's already add the new one on. Because uh, that'll just make it our life a little bit easier for us. Let's lower it so we can work on the engine. This car has the engine in the back as well, so that's kind of cool. I really like that because, you know, normally it's the front cars, but this one has it in the back, so we just... Can I... Can I open this or... What? Can I... There we go. Okay, that was weird. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How the hell do I... Trunk window? Do I... How, how do I... How... Engine... Okay, there we go. I get the... Wow, that was really... I was so confused there. I was, like, defeated by this. Okay, cool. Let's, uh... Let's see what we need to fix. Before we go, actually, let me put in some new oil here as well, just so just so I know that that is done. New oil is going in. Looks like she's pretty thirsty. There you go. It's giving me the animation that's full. So that is all done. So now if we go to checklist, you can see the oil stuff is done. So next thing we need to do is we need to do uh, cam gears, belt tension, cam gears, blah, 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 and water pump. All right. Easy peasy. So the water pump is somewhere here. Am I stupid? Well, I guess let's get to the parts that we need to replace, and I'll find the water punk. Water punk? What am I saying? The water pump. I seem to... I don't know why I'm being defeated by this car. I can't notice it here. This is pretty cool. This car is completely different to the ones that I've worked before on, so it's actually a little bit difficult. I was, I'm, I'm, like, as in, it's new. It's not, like, difficult, difficult. So the power steering pump, alternate, where the hell is the water pump? I'm so goddamn stupid, it was right in front of me, it's over here, water pump, this is what we need to take out. So we need to take out the belt here, okay, we need to take this belt tension, looks like this is the thing we need to replace, and we should be able to get the belt out, and then take off the water pump, there you go, I was like looking for it, I was so stupid, I thought it was, never mind, we got it in the end, so now we need to take this cam, Cam gears off. Those are the four broken ones or damaged ones. And I think we have everything we needed. So now we need a belt tensioner. That was one. We need a water pump. Uh, water pump. Oh, crap. There was a few of them. Uh, this isn't good. 
There's a few of them. Which one? Which one does it look like? Come in inventory. Water pump V6B. Okay. V6B right here. This is what we need. Buy one of those. And then we need four. Cam wait a minute. Is it four? Oh god, my, my mind is so forgetful. Was it four? Yep, as well. And that's a V6B ones we need. Okay. Damn, these suckers are a little bit expensive actually, so we need four of these. Nearly spent 500 bucks there. I better get do get some good money back. Why is the hood open? Close that. Alright, let's uh This is such a cool car though. Why is it like gross and corroded though? I don't get it. Let's add the new parts. Here we go. We got the water pump. Let's screw this sucker puppy in. Then we can add the cam gears. There you go. Add that. All of these four nice and fresh and shiny. I actually really look forward to the the parts where I'm going to be able to go in and get like a complete junker and then, you know, build it up. It's going to be great. I'm totally going to mess it up. You know, I'm totally going to like get some stuff wrong and, and, and screw it up, but it will be really, really good fun. I'm going to actually enjoy it. Last piece here, and we have everything back into place. All the engine is pretty much done, I think. If we go into tasks, that is done, that is done. Uh, let's add the parts here that we took off, the engine cover. And this as well. And then I think it was the rear wind. I need to add. There we go. I think that's it. That is it. And now if we sell it, right, we should get some good money back. Nice. We're nearly getting to 10,000. Can I finish it? Finish order. Hello? Wait, am I missing a trunk window? I thought I put it on. Trunk window. Did I not put it on or something? Oh. That was... What? I so thought it... What? Oh, uh, never mind. Let's... Okay. Finish it out. There you go. <laughs> what the hell? That was really weird. Next car, baby. Let's go. Here is the next car. This looks exactly like a Audi A4 Avant or like something like that, right? It's even got those weird ring kind of things. Uh, but uh, let's see what the problem with this car is. So there's a... Wow, there's a lot of problems here. So it says, when driving through the city... I didn't notice a speed bump. Please check the front suspension because I have an impression that something is not right. Uh, righty then. So that's probably going to be a bit of a mission there. Let's move the car. We're going to have to inspect it to uh, see what's wrong with it. Because I presume the suspension is completely destroyed, right? Oh yeah, I can see there's a bunch of corro... Oh, that is pretty rough. That is pretty rough looking. So uh, let's do this. Let's let's examine these. Wait, I should actually... It will be easier for me. Can we raise it one up? There you go. Let's get to work. This is going to be easier, I think, for me. I'll be able to see. There's quite a lot of pieces that seem pretty damaged. Just trying to get to the suspension here. And after this, we should be pretty good. All right. Well, you can see that there's a lot of parts damaged here. Looks like the radiator is damaged too. Uh, or just corroded or something. Uh, we're going to deal with that as well. So if we go in, for example, we don't really need to do this because we can see it's already damaged. But if you do examine these, this is a way to um, find out like what's broken and stuff. But I can clearly visually see that, you know, what part is broken on this thing. You can kind of have a good glance at it. Hey guys, would you, what part do you think is broken? The green or red, huh? Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's get to work. Let's take this apart. got a quite a few bits to take off so take that off let's take the lower arm off as well we got a screw here so that takes that off and now I need I need to get to wait if I take this off right does that mean I can take it off ah there we go the shock I can take it off perfect that thing is completely wrecked uh, I don't think that is damaged right that seems like so if we go into for example, the car list here. Let's see. Quite a, quite a few parts that are uh, pretty heavily damaged. Let's go inspect the uh, other side as well so we can see how much we need to do to this as well. But looks of things, it's just going to be a complete mirror copy of the damage. 
both of the sides seem to have similar damage, if not the exact identical. So we're just gonna take it apart exactly the same how we took the other side. Here's the last little bit, and then we can take off this. And two screws, and she should be good, right? So now, we've got pretty much all the parts off, I think, apart from two parts not discovered, which I think is this rusty radiator here at the front. So let's fix the suspension first, and then we'll look at the radiator. So we've got a bunch of parts we need to order. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of... Uh, like broken and corroded things, but each of these parts, we, we need two of these, right? So, we just gotta make sure we do that. I'm gonna sell some of these older parts that I don't need. We do seem to have a crate, so let me just open up. I don't know if we're gonna find anything from this, but let's have a look, case content. Looks like I just got a bunch of, bunch of car parts, right? Air filter, cam gear, and front exhaust, okay. Nice, cool. Got a bunch of, bunch of new stuff. Front drive axle C. We need two of those. Here we go. Front drive axle C. Very nice. We need two of these each. So let's get two. There you go. And this as well. Two. And I think we needed something else, which was we needed a lever suspension arm. Two of those as well. Two of these puppies. So that's going to be 300. That's pretty, pretty pricey. And I think we're good. I think we're fine, so let's uh, let's fix everything back up here with the new and nice looking parts. Wait, actually, front shock absorbers. We need. How do I. Wait a minute. How do I change these? Wait a minute, what the hell? Here's my issue here. These. Can I. Hmm. Do I sell these parts? Because. If I go, for example, and I try to add, do I just have to sell the whole part? Am I able to, like, separate them? Do you see that? It, 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 for example, the, f the front spring is fine. The front spring condition is okay. Um, it would probably have been fine, but I, cause I can't, I'm, I'm not sure how to take this apart. Uh, so I need to get these as well. So let's, I, I guess let's just order these as well. This car is going to be the one where I'm spending the most money on. So hopefully we'll make the most money back and we'll hit maybe in about 10,000, which will be very nice. And the final thing I need is two front springs. Buy them. All right, let's have a look how much we spent on this car because we're not done yet. And if you go into car list, it doesn't actually say how much we spent yet. So that's great. So I've been a bit of an idiot, guys. Um, I've been, I, I was thinking about like, how, how the hell do I get the springs apart? How do I do this? Uh, and I was like, you know what, I'll just buy new springs, right? And then I was gonna, for example, I was gonna go to the spring thing and I was gonna be like putting in new springs, but I'm like, wait a minute, they need to be together. So how the hell do I do it? I had another little glance around the shop and I found a tool that does it. Right over here is the spring puller. This is, this is the one that does it, but I already bought the parts. So I guess I'm just gonna use the, the complete new parts. This is the one that we needed. It would have pulled apart the um, springs and stuff, and I would have been probably able to sell like a hundred, save like a hundred bucks or something. But now we're not able to do it. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, but now we know for next time. So, you know, live and learn, right? Live and learn, baby. So now that we go in here, we're gonna be able to, there you go, completely brand new. I mean, enjoy, buddy. That should be that should be pretty good. And all these parts as well should be nice. And I didn't buy sway bars. I haven't got sway bars. Okay. Two of these puppies. There we go. And that should be okay now. Now we should be able to go back in here. Bam. And if I try to add these sway bars. There you go. Brand new ones. Never used before, baby. I'm gonna, by the end of times, you know, when I when I complete this game, by the end of it all, I'm gonna be able to fix my own car. I'm gonna be become a real mechanic. A real dealership mechanic, guys. I'm gonna open up Redline. You're gonna see it. It's gonna be great. Hopefully I'm not missing anything here. I think I am adding all the new parts, which is 
good. There we go. Get that in there. This side is pretty much almost done. We're going to be able to go work on the other one. And then the final thing that we needed to fix was the radiator. And I'm really intrigued how much money we made uh, for this car. Hopefully it will actually bring us into... Uh, wait, what am I missing there? Oh, crap. I'm missing a... There we go. Completely missed the component there. That was stupid of me. This dude must have hit the biggest pothole ever to break the suspension like that. Damn. So let's do the same for this side as well. Add all the components. There we go. Yes. And then we just screw these puppies in. Nice and easy. Almost done now. We're going to be able to move on to the other part. Let's get this. Wool hub. There we go. Put that in there. And then don't forget the part that I forgot last time. Can I add it in? So we put this. And then that gives us the ability to put Put the axle. There you go. And that, hopefully, fingers crossed, is the suspension done. So if we go into car list here, everything's done. We just got the two parts that we haven't discovered, which, like I said, looked like it was the radiator here. So once the car is down, let's go inside here. And it probably does look like this. Yeah, look at that, eh? That don't look good. Uh, what about the air filter in there? Let's inspect this and just see. Is that okay? Condition of that is fine. Everything there is good. Alright, let's see. So, were those the last two parts that we needed to fix? Just the radiator. Is there another part then, technically? Oh, no. It's just radiator A and then radiator fan housing B. Alright, let's change those. Damn, I'm really spending some money on this car. 200 for that radiator. Okay. Let's 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 change all that stuff and uh, get some good money for this. So I've spent nearly about two thousand on this. So let's see how much money we get back. Uh, total money spent one thousand two hundred eighty. I thought I spent more for it, but I guess I didn't. And we're nearly, nearly at the ten k. So if we finish, damn, we're off by the tiniest little smidgen. Let's see if we can maybe do a quick job. Something quick that wouldn't take too long. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's a Ferrari Enzo. Are you kidding me? I had to take it and oh my god. I wish I didn't take it. What the WTF they've done to you? Who the... F has designed this? Why is it green and yellow? It's the world's ugliest Enzo. What the actual... I don't know. I, I genuinely... I feel sad. I actually feel sad seeing this. This is, this is, this is bad. What the... This is real bad. I still can't believe this is like so ugly. I, I, I'm gen just... What the hell? So we need to fix... Uh, let's see here. Once the car stops, we need to fix the suspension, right? Oh, there's a few. Okay, there's a. F okay, I thought this was gonna be a. I, I, I thought this was gonna be a quick job, but apparently it isn't. We have a few things to uh, fix. So, uh, let's see. Fix suspension uh, clunks and rattles. So that the only thing we need to do for that is change the wheel bearings, and apparently that fixes that, and then repair all running gear faults. And then there's like so much on the list. Whoa, okay, like the whole suspension there is shot. Pretty much, oh, it's just like the same all the way around, right? Yeah, it's all the way around. Damn, okay. Well, that's going to be a job we're going to do in the next episode. Uh, I think definitely. What have they done to this Enzo, though? It's the world's ugliest thing in the world. Jesus. Anyway, though, guys... Thanks for watching the, uh, this episode. So in the next episode, we got a couple of things we need to do. One, we're going to get 10,000 smackaroonies, right? That's going to be given because we're going to finish this. We're going to have 10,000. Two, we have upgraded or we have enough to upgrade our garage. Uh, so our actual garage is going to expand. We'll do that in the next episode. We've got a couple upgrades, which is great. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Hopefully you did enjoy some car mechanic. If you did, make sure you do leave a like. 
show some love and support for the uh, series. I'll see your faces in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.